Hey guys, it's Gaza Montana here, the original demo disc player before they decided to give an abbreviation when it was just called what it was called. This video here is a guide on finance and felony career progress tier four. This guide is well overdue. Uh, I should have made this a while ago. I know guys, there's been a lot of comments, a lot of people mentioning this and there is a couple of methods, very good methods to get special rare crates, okay? Now the first method is the pretty much the best method because you don't have to really do anything. You just have to go to each of the warehouses and send off the warehouse staff. There's a 48 minute call down on these warehouse staff. They'll get you one, two or three crates and they have a chance, a very slim chance to get you a special rare crate. It's very slim so you'd think that you're never gonna get them but you actually will get them. What would happen is once they have brought you a crate back to the warehouse, they're actually gonna still get your normal crate but they're gonna also get you a rare crate. So when you go to the warehouse, uh, even if it says that you've got a diamond, sometimes you go to the warehouse, you don't have the diamond, you have something completely different. And there's actually a couple of bugs with the warehouse staff getting you the rare crates. Now, um, the warehouse staff had got me the diamond. It notified me that it was the diamond. And I went to the warehouse and it was the Sasquatch outfit. Now, here's the other thing. I went back there later on and all of the normal crates, or some of them, should we say, next to the rare crate started to glitch out to look like rare crates, but I still only have one rare crate. It notified me it was the diamond, but it was actually the Sasquatch outfit. And then also when I go to the computer, it still says it's the diamond, but it looks like the Sasquatch outfit. So what it is, is actually irrelevant because the, the bottom line is guys, just keep getting rare crates until it ticks off because there is a visual bug in the warehouse with the actual crate itself. There is a visual bug in a warehouse where it makes old crates, or, or should we say normal crates, look like rare crates. And those normal crates that are turning into uh, rare crates are still normal crates. You can't sell them as uh, uh, rare crates. They're not gonna take off no career progress either, okay? And uh, so the bottom line is, don't worry about what it says on the career progress. Don't worry about what it says in the bottom left corner of the screen when you get the rare crate from the warehouse stuff. Don't worry about what it looks like on the warehouse floor. Don't worry about what it looks like on the warehouse computer, okay? The bottom line is, if you never ticked off on the career progress, you're still going to have to wait for them to get you a rare crate. And when they do get you a rare crate, you have to hope that it's going to tick off. So let's just say the last thing you need is the large diamond. Uh, you're probably going to get the minigun from the warehouse staff in the bottom left corner of the screen and it's gonna tick off the large diamond, yeah? There's nothing you can do about it. You can't be ringing Rockstar support or should we say messaging them, you can't even ring them. Um, and expecting them to then tick it off for you because you have a photograph of the large diamond. They're going to laugh at it. And the other way that you can get rare crates is from the lucky wheel at the diamond casino. When you spin the wheel and it lands on the mystery prize, there's a chance you can get a rare crate for one of your warehouses. Um, yeah, they do tick off on the career progress, so if you're lucky enough to land on a mystery prize and then lucky enough to then get a rare crate, uh, that's another method right there, but I wouldn't rely on that uh, on its own. Now, there is a method that has worked for a few people that I know of that uh, couldn't sleep at night until they got these rare crates, even though they still had other things to do on the career progress. They did this to get these rare crates. I'm not going to recommend that you do this, but I'm going to explain it to you. Uh, shout out to GTA Veteran for the comment on one of my videos explaining that uh, what he did was he did 20 sourcing crates missions, okay? And these were one crate. So when you source a crate, you can choose one, two, or three crates. He sourced one crate and he did it 20 times. And then what he did after that was find a new invite, a new session spawning at the office and then went to his computer and then hopefully the special rare crate mission will spawn on the computer uh, replacing the one crate option so stealing one crate on his computer to now being able to source a rare crate for his wells but you have to do 21 crate missions first and then do uh, the whole spawning at your office and keep changing the session checking the computer and hope that it spawns on the computer for you. And then if it doesn't show on the computer the first time, you find a new session and then it's hopefully spawns on the computer. Okay, keep finding a new session, spawning at the office, keep checking the computer and hopefully that it shows up on the computer. But the problem I have with this is I've just tried it now and it took me over two hours to do 20 one crate missions, okay? And then I went to the office uh, by finding a new session, spawning at the office, and it wasn't there on a computer and then I tried 
switching the session about 20 to 30 times and it was not on the computer ever so i'm not going to recommend that you do that okay do it how i did it and that's by sending the staff off and ignore the list ignore what you're getting until it ticks off okay you'll get notification in the bottom left corner of the screen when it ticks off for the career progress yeah don't worry about what it is that you need don't worry about what it is that it says that they got you the warehouse staff don't worry about what it looks like in the warehouse and don't worry about what it looks like on the computer in the warehouse just keep sending them off until you get six out of six it's going it's going to take a while but guys you don't focus on this you focus on other things in the career progress whilst this is working in the background just make sure as much as you possibly can you're sending the staff off as soon as the 48 minute call down has called down or gta plus members this month is 24 minutes but um guys uh, you might want to have five large warehouses so that way the profit is going to be even more and you're working on a 50 million as well for the career progress so having five large warehouses is good i don't actually have five i have uh, three large warehouses one medium one small but uh, most people do have five large warehouses once you've filled up at least one of these you will get the career progress challenge ticked off for um, selling a warehouse with 111 crates and that's all um, good but once you've, you've done that don't uh, fill up another one to the max again because there is a chance that you can get ghost raided that means you're going to get raided and you're not going to be notified that you are currently being raided so you can't even go and defend your business the only way you're going to know that you was raided is when you go to the warehouse and all of your crates are gone so uh yeah how you avoid that is by not letting your warehouse go to over 75 percent crates i do believe it's 77 crates but just to be safe when it hits 75 crates or 76 uh, then sell that warehouse and remember guys it's the warehouse staff that's filling it so you don't have to worry about it just fill it up obviously this week when it's double money and weeks when it's double money you might want to go and source some crates yourself to fill it up to set it faster but i'm saying on a normal week when it's not double money or anything like that just send the staff off hopefully they'll get you some rare crates and whilst they're not getting you rare crates they're still filling up your warehouse to make you tons and tons of money in the game and help you with that 50 million challenge on a career progress so either way you should be doing this no matter what the day is and yeah you'll get that ticked off eventually guys we've got a separate video down in the description that we made a while ago when they first added the warehouse staff to the warehouses so if you want more information on that make sure you check that video out and guys if you found this video helpful drop a like on the video comment down below subscribe if you're not subscribed hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more gta videos just like this one have a lovely day godspeed see you in the next one peace out